These graphs show the acceleration, velocity, and the position as functions of time for a sphere in one-dimensional motion. What could the sphere be doing? This tells us that the sphere must be doing constant acceleration motion the entire time. And this graph tells us uh, constant acceleration motion and uh, what is this point? That's the turning point. So the sphere must be turning around. And the position graph matches this. That's the turning point right here. Constant acceleration motion and turns around. The sphere can be rolling without slipping up an incline to a maximum height and then roll without slipping back down. Or the sphere can be tossed straight up to a maximum height and then falls back straight down. Since uh, over here it says the acceleration is positive, and in this case the acceleration goes down the incline, so we just have to choose the down the incline direction as the positive direction. And for this one, constant acceleration is the gravitational acceleration going straight down. So to have con constant positive acceleration, we just have to choose it down as the positive y direction. What about a sphere rolling towards the wall and then bounces back off the wall? In this case, if the sphere is rolling without slipping, then there's no velocity change until it hits the wall and then it suddenly the velocity changes. So it's definitely not constant acceleration motion. The only thing that matches is that this thing turns around. So this is not it. What about rolling down one side of a bowl and then rolls up to the other side? First, this is not even a one-dimensional motion. It does not move along a straight line. And in this case, the object first to speed up and then slow down to a stop. And like this, this object first slowed down to a stop, turns around and then speeds up again. So this can't be it either. What about this one? The sphere falls down, hits the floor and then bounces right up. For this one, first it speeds up and then when it bounces back up, it slows down. So the speed change does not match this. For this ball, while it's falling, the acceleration is a constant acceleration g going down. After it bounces off the floor on its way up, it also experiences the same acceleration, the downward g. However, during the bounce, there's extra force from the floor acting on it. So during the bounce, the ball does not have the same acceleration g. So this uh, down, bounce back up, the entire motion does not have the same acceleration throughout. So this one doesn't work either.